Hey guys, Brandon here with Exotic Cars 19. I'm going to be bringing you guys a different kind of video, but it should be interesting nonetheless, especially if you are a fan of Koenigsegg Automotive. In case you guys don't know me, uh, I have a huge obsession towards the brand Koenigsegg. If anyone ever asks me uh, what's your favorite car, especially uh, you know money, no object, I always, without even questioning myself, say Koenigsegg. Uh, anything from the Agera S, Agera R, the prototype Agera, uh, Agera RS or even the one-to-one -one, those are my favorite ones but anything in between even the Regera the CCX and all the ones before it I'm just very very uh, I don't know drawn to them for some reason I really like them and uh, especially after seeing a couple in person as the title suggests in this video I thought it would be kind of interesting to kind of go through the registry because for such a uh, you know for any hyper car but especially such an exclusive car like a Koenigsegg it kind of makes you wonder where all the cars are nowadays, even from, you know, 2001 and uh, the older ones and the newer ones, just kind of where these Koenigseggs ended up. Uh, although I don't know the stories behind every single one of them, after a lot of research, I kind of put everything in a notebook here from uh, chassis number one all the way through 128. Some of them I'm missing, some of them I really don't have any stories behind other than what they look like, what model they are, maybe what year they are. But anyway, I did a lot of research, try to find all the stories kind of behind the cars, maybe where they're at now, and, and just, yeah, their stories. And I actually got a lot more information than I thought I would. Uh, some of these stories are kind of interesting. This video might be kind of lengthy, but I'm going to try to cruise through all of them. Alright, so starting with Koenigsegg number 001. Uh, that is a 2001 Koenigsegg CC8S in red. Apparently, from what I've heard, it's kind of been through uh, some upgrades and some changes and is now a Koenigsegg CCR. Uh, but this is nonetheless the same Koenigsegg that broke the world record that the McLaren F1 held for seven years. So apparently at 12.08, February 28th, 2005, it, uh, it broke the record doing 388 kilometers an hour or 241 miles an hour, which is a incredibly astonishing uh, feat nowadays. Uh, to think over a decade ago was incredible. That record apparently didn't last too long until Bugatti Veyron went and took it from them at 253 miles an hour. So crazy numbers in the uh, hypercar game. Koenigsegg number 002 is a 2001 CC8S in blue and that car now currently resides in Germany. Not much else information on that one. Koenigsegg number 003 uh, is another CC8S, finished in ice green, but then it went to from ice green to silver, then silver to black. And this is apparently the same Koenigsegg that went allegedly uh, 242 miles an hour in a 75 mile an hour zone during the Gumball 3000 rally, making it, if that's true, the fastest speeding ticket, or at least the biggest speeding ticket in United States history. Uh, so yeah, there's some publicity for you, Koenigsegg. Uh, Koenigsegg number 004 is another black CC8S. This is the same Koenigsegg that appeared on Top Gear. So, is this the most boring supercar in the world? Um, no. Koenigsegg number 5 is a dark blue 2002 CC8S. Uh, it first got delivered to Rio Prestige, but it now resides in Great Britain. Koenigsegg number 006 is a 2002 CC8S. Uh, this is the last CC8S. It was originally silver, but then painted gray, and it was, um, it was then upgraded a little bit cosmetically other than the paint job. A full width rear wing was added, and apparently now resides in the Netherlands. Unfortunately, number 007, I have nothing on it. I do not know. It's kind of the ghost of Koenigsegg, if you will. But if you know anything about number 7, let me know. Uh, number 8 is a 2002 CCR finished in orange and it now resides in Taiwan. Number 009 is a 2002 CCR. It was originally light blue, but then it was wrapped matte black with red accents. It seems like that was just the owner trying to get an idea for how those colors played on the car because eventually a rear wing was added and clear carbon panels were added with painted red accenting. Um, and apparently this car is now for sale, so if you guys are interested, uh, there you go. Number 10, again, just like number 7, unfortunately don't know anything about it. If you guys know, feel free to tell me. Number 11 is a 2002 CCR finish in orange, and it was bought by a Norwegian collector. Koenigsegg number 12 is the one and only CC GT, the racing uh, car. So Christian had racing in mind, so he studied the regulations for Le Mans, the GT1 class, 
and, uh, and so they developed the CZ GT to fit in that class. Once they started stretching the legs out on the car, they realized that they've really developed a fantastic handling car, and they were really excited to race it. Unfortunately, two months after Koenigsegg really started the full shakedown and stretching its legs, the ACO and FIA changed the regulations for the GT1 class. Carbon monocoques were no longer allowed, and minimum production numbers went from 20 cars over several years to 350 cars per year. Knowing Koenigsegg being the very low volume manufacturer they are, they had to put that idea to rest. Here's a fun fact, Koenigsegg number 13 as well as number 113 were never made. Uh, Koenigsegg doesn't want to make a car ending in 13, uh, but moving on to number 114, it is a yellow CCR. Well, it started its life yellow, but then it was painted gray. It's called a CCR Evolution. Koenigsegg number 15 is a orange CCR. It was spotted in Dubai in 2005, then Spain in 2006. Nobody kind of spotted it for a while, but it was last seen in Germany in 2013. Number 16 is a gray CCR. In 2011, it was listed for sale in China and has not been spotted since. Whether it's sold or not, I do not know. If you know, feel free to tell me. Car number 17 is a 2005 CCR in yellow. This car was sold to somebody in Norway and uh, it's had some changes. I think the changes in the wheels and then they added a wing. Uh, this car you may recognize because it was unfortunately involved in an accident where it lost control during a rally and then ran into a group of people, four people being seriously injured. Car number 18 is a green CCR. It was delivered to a customer in Britain. It's changed hands a couple of times from what I know, but it has remained in Great Britain. Car number 19 is that orange CCR that was delivered to a customer in Germany. Car number 20 is another orange CCR, don't really have much information on that one. Number 21 is yet another orange CCR delivered to an owner in Great Britain. Car number 22 is another CCR, it was initially finished in red, then painted black, and it was last seen in Korea. Koenigsegg number 23 is another CCR finished in orange. Unfortunately, number 24, I do not have anything on it. Number 25 is another orange CCR. Apparently orange was a hot color for the CCRs. Car number 26 is a black CCR, however, it was delivered to an Australian customer. It had a minor crash and a brief fire back in 2008. Unfortunately, car number 27, 28, and 29, I have nothing on it. If you guys know anything about those three cars, let me know and I could uh, fill it in here. Uh, but car number 30 uh, is the first uh, Koenigsegg CCX. It was a 2006 CCX. A uh, little fun fact that I learned while making this is CCX actually stands for Competition Coupe 10, X being the Roman numeral for 10, and 10 because it marked the 10th anniversary since the first uh, CC prototype in 1996. This car also appeared on Top Gear, where you might remember that Stig crashed it into a tire wall. They suggested it could use some downforce, and then within three weeks, the car was back for more testing, and it actually set the lap record of 1 minute, 17.6 seconds. Car number 31 is another CCX, and it was last spotted in Norway. Car number 32 is a blue CCX. It was actually the first customer CCX. It was owned by someone named Peter Saywell from the UK, who also owns a CC8S. CCR and an Agera. Now here's an interesting story. Uh, car number 33 is a black CCX. It was first owned by a Norwegian customer. He spun the car on a racetrack but it was undamaged. It just went off into the dirt. Uh, the owner then challenged a rallycross driver to race him on the road for $100,000. And naturally the press was all over it and Koenigsegg wasn't too happy. They didn't want the bad publicity. To stop the bad publicity, Koenigsegg offered to just buy the car and uh, that's what they did because the waiting list for a CCX at the time was uh, quite extensive so it wasn't hard to find a new owner. Unfortunately the luck of the car didn't change with the new owner. The day the new owner took delivery of it he crashed it into a garbage truck and then ended up in a ditch. The car was then repaired in Sweden and then registered in Sweden where it resides now I do not know. Car number 34 is a black CCX that was delivered to its owner in Spain and has reportedly changed hands. I do not know where it is either. Car number 35 was the Koenigsegg CCX crash test car. Car number 36 is an orange CCX. Uh, it was then wrapped white and then unwrapped so it still should be orange and I do not know where it resides. Car number 37 is a black CCX. It was last seen in Japan. Silver stripes were added then wrapped light blue. Car number 38 is a black 2007 CCXR. It was the first Koenigsegg to run on E85 biofuel. It enabled it to be the first homologated production car to reach over 1,000 horsepower. It was registered in Norway and participated in the Gumball 3000 rally. 
Car number 39 is a white 2007 CCX owned by Crown Prince of Dubai. Uh, car number 40 is a white 2007 CCX built for an official Koenigsegg dealer in Japan and it has remained in Japan. Car number 41 is a black CCXR that sold at an auction for $825,000 and apparently resides in Colorado. If that's true, this would make it the first US Koenigsegg on my list so far. Car number 42 is a gray CCX delivered to the UK. Car number 43 is a gorgeous 2008 CCX finished in blue. Car number 44 is a black 2008 CCX delivered to the owner in Arizona. Car number 45 is a 2008 CCX finished in purple carbon fiber. Uh, it was picked up at the Koenigsegg factory on October 22, 2007 by its Swiss owner. Car number 46 is a black 2008 CCX. This is a US spec CCX, first offered for sale in Las Vegas. Car number 47 is a white 2008 CCX with an orange interior. Really, really unique spec on this one. The owner took this car to his home country of Hungary. Car number 48 is another American Koenigsegg. It's a black 2008 CCX sold at Naples Motorsports in Florida. Car number 49 is a 2008 CCX finished in silver. Uh, it was first delivered in the San Francisco area, but it found a new home in the Pacific Northwest. Uh, I believe around the Seattle area. Uh, the car was wrapped matte white, then unwrapped. Then uh, the car was sold at Cats Exotics in Linwood, Washington, which is a fantastic dealership, if, I'm, if I might add. Uh, the car now resides somewhere in Southern California. Car number 50 is an orange CCX delivered to Australia. Car number 51 also has an interesting story behind it, kind of unfortunate actually. It's an orange CCX. It was owned by a South African businessman. The owner was shot and killed in 2010. Uh, South African Revenue Service impounded his car to offset money that he owned in taxes. The car was then sold at an auction for approximately $400,000. Car number 52 is a 2008 CCXR in clear carbon. Car number 53 is a red uh, 2008 CCX. Car number 54 is a 2008 CCXR in clear carbon and it has a taller wing. Car number 55 is a 2008 CCX in clear carbon. Number 56 is a 2008 CCXR in clear carbon. Car number 57 is a 2008 CCX in dark blue. Number 58 is a uh, US spec CCX in clear carbon. Although it's a US spec, it's actually never been in the United States. Uh, it's often seen driving around Stockholm and Monaco. Car number 59 is an unfortunate story. It's a 2008 CCX in white. It was bought by someone who lives in Russia to replace his crashed Porsche Carrera GT. Uh, the car was converted to the CCXF, F for flex fuel, and then back to just CCXR badges. Uh, the car was last seen in St. Petersburg uh, before it crashed and it has not been, since, uh, been seen since then. Car number 60 is a gray 2008 CCXR. It was delivered to South Africa. The car crashed in Cape Town. The quote for the repairs from Koenigsegg was too high for the owner, so he went elsewhere for repairs and it has since been owned or bought by a, another South African collector. Car number 61 is a 2008 CCX in clear carbon delivered to Arizona, but has never been registered. Car number 62 is a black and red 2009 CCXR. Uh, it was offered for sale in Miami, but is now currently for sale at Fusion Luxury Imports in California. Uh, this car is one that Kim Kardashian sat in, so I would imagine that kind of hurt its value a little bit. Uh, but anyway, if you want it, it's for sale. Car number 63 is a white CCX. Car number 64 is a black CCXR. Car number 65 is a gray CCXR. It's a US spec registered in Nevada. It is serviced in California and often seen during Car Week in Monterey. Car number 66 is a silver CCX. And uh, another unfortunate story with car number 67. This is a beautiful, or at least was a beautiful, 2009 CCX finished in candy red and visible carbon fiber. Uh, this is the second Koenigsegg I've ever seen in person and the last one so far. And uh, the first Koenigsegg CCX I've actually seen. Uh, I saw this car in, at a Houston dealership, Crave Luxury Auto, while I was visiting Riley from RP Productions. Um, we saw this car together and man, it was a gorgeous car. A big old gear lever, it was a six speed manual, just with the perfect spec. It, that, that candy red is so nice on the car. Um, I fell in love with that car, I believe at the time they were asking $1.2 million. 
and uh, and what a goal that was to get that. Unfortunately, about two weeks after I saw it, I got word that it was uh, completely wrecked in Loreto, Mexico. Um, so from my understanding, you know, it, it used to be a Mexican car, because when I posted pictures on my Instagram of the Koenigsegg, I got a lot of people from Mexico that messaged me saying, oh, I recognize that Koenigsegg, he used to be in Mexico. Um, so if I were to guess, this car was a Mexican car that he then wanted to sell, but he couldn't sell it in Mexico, so he brought it to the Houston dealership and uh, had a co-signment with it, so that way, you know, Crave Luxury Auto was the caretaker and they were listing it. Um, and at, I guess at that time, the owner wanted the car back for the week or so, because when it crashed for the next 24 hours, the car was still in Crave Luxury Auto's inventory. So yeah, if I had a guess, it was a Mexican car, he wanted to sell it, he co-signed with a dealership in Houston, wanted to take it home temporarily and wreck. So, very unfortunate story. Uh, hopefully, we're kind of done with the unfortunate stories. Car number 68 is a 2009 CCXR in clear carbon. Car number 69 is a beautiful 2009 CCXR in orange with black accenting. Uh, I really like this car. It was delivered to, uh, to someone in the United Arab Emirates and is now currently for sale. Car number 70 is a 2009 CCX, white and carbon. Uh, it was first seen in France, but rumor has it that it's currently for sale. So if you want it, get it and uh, give me a ride. Car number 71 is a 2009 CCXR uh, Trevita. Car number 72 is a CCXR in carbon fiber. Uh, it was delivered to a collector in Florida where it currently resides, so uh, glad to hear that. Car number 73 is a CCXR, quote, special one. Uh, it is a turquoise CCXR delivered to someone in the royal family of Qatar. Uh, it's currently for sale at uh, Elaine Class Motors in the United Arab Emirates. So again, if you want it, get it and give me a ride. Uh, number 74 is a CCXR in clear carbon. Car number 75 is another CCXR Trevita. Um, if you guys don't know about the Trevita, it is the white carbon fiber and Trevita meaning three whites in Swedish. Um, so the original plan, and I believe these Koenigseggs actually wear a badge saying number whatever of three, um, but I believe that they've only made two of the three cars, but they don't plan to make the third one like they originally thought because the white carbon is such a difficult material to work with that they just made two and that's uh, that's all they're doing. But anyway, yeah, this one, uh, you may recognize it. It appeared in Jay Leno's garage and uh, now owned by Floyd Mayweather who purchased it for $4.8 million. If you can't meet a girl in this car, I'm sorry. You, you can't meet any girls, I'm sorry. It's not gonna happen. Car number 76 is a orange CCXR. It was built for a Brazilian customer and has reportedly changed hands since then, uh, but where it is I do not know. Uh, number 77 is the 2011 Koenigsegg Agera. It is a gray and blue prototype. This is where I start to blush because the Koenigsegg Agera is by far my favorite car, as well as the one-to-one -one and the Agera's alike. Uh, yeah, really, really like this car. Uh, number 78, however, is another silver CCX, and that would be the last of the CCXs there. Number 79 is a Koenigsegg Agera. Again, gray and blue, uh, but with a taller wing. Number eight is the 2011 Koenigsegg Agera R, finished in candy red. You guys may have seen it in a couple of YouTube videos. I know I have. Uh, it was delivered to the royal family of Oman. Uh, the car currently resides in Switzerland and has been fitted with ADV1 wheels and possibly some other upgrades. Uh, but yeah, you guys may have seen it on YouTube. Car number 81 is a gray 2011 Koenigsegg Agera. This car found an owner in Czech Republic, but has recently been seen in a couple of dealerships, so if it's for sale, I'm not too sure. Car number 82 is a 2011 Agera, kind of similar to the other one we've seen, kind of uh, gray and, uh, and blue stripes, or something similar to that at least. Car number 83 is a 2011 Agera, white with red stripes. It was delivered to a collector in Qatar but is now for sale at Pace in Germany. Uh, don't buy that one because I want it. So at the end of this video, I may start a GoFundMe and you guys can go fund my, uh, my you know, campaign for buying myself a Koenigsegg. It's for the YouTube channel though, trust me. Uh, anyway, car number 84 is another 2011 Agera, white and black. It was delivered to a customer in the UK. Um, same one, uh, Peter Saywell. 
and it has been converted to the Koenigsegg Agera N. I believe it's changed hands and then converted, I'm not totally sure, but it, it is now the Koenigsegg Agera N. Um, a couple of cosmetic changes, including the one-to-one -one mirrors, carbon fiber wheels, and then some new stripes. It looks very, very nice in my opinion. Car number 85 is another 2011 Koenigsegg Agera R. White and blue, the car uh, currently resides in China. It's a very pretty spec, if I do add. Uh, car number 86 is a 2011 Koenigsegg Agera R. It's called the Super Velocity, uh, and uh, it is red. You guys may have seen it, it's quite a, quite a famous Koenigsegg on YouTube and just kind of social media in general. It was delivered to a Norwegian owner. This car is kind of known as the world record car because it broke six land speed records on September 2nd, 2011. Car number 87 is a white and red Koenigsegg Agera R delivered to the owner in Switzerland. Car number 88 is the Koenigsegg Agera X, the one-off kind of car, matte black with red stripes delivered to the, its owner in Germany. Car number 89 is a silver and blue Agera registered in Kuwait. Car number 90 is a 2011 Agera R, matte, blue, and carbon delivered to a Chinese dealer. Uh, number 91 is a 2012 Agera R. It's a cream with black stripes. You may recognize this car. I know Shmi has uh, fe featured it in his channel, Shmi150. Um, so yeah, but it was delivered to the customer in Monaco. Number 92 is a matte white and blue 2012 Agera R. Now this was going to be the first US uh, registered Agera, but the customer ultimately got impatient and backed out. The car now resides in Southeast Asia. Um, you may recognize that car from like the Pebble Beach show in I believe it was 2012 or so. Uh, yeah, quite a pretty spec if I do say so myself. Car number 93 is a uh, Koenigsegg Agera R, dubbed the BLT. It's blue carbon and red, delivered to a uh, customer in China. It was seized by customs due to the unpaid import taxes. I do not know about its current whereabouts. If you do, feel free to tell me about car number 93. Uh, but anyway, car number 94 is a 2012 Koenigsegg Agera R. It's purple and carbon, and it was delivered to its uh, owner in China. Car number 95 is a 2012 Koenigsegg Agera S. It's in green carbon, it's quite a wild spec. Uh, part of me kind of likes it though, but it is uh, the first Koenigsegg Agera S. It was spotted in Hong Kong. Car number 96 is a matte white with light blue accenting uh, Agera delivered to its owner in Shanghai. Number 97 also delivered in Shanghai. Uh, very similar spec, just more light blue. I would imagine it's the same owner for both of those cars. Car number 98 is a matte blue 2013 Agera S delivered to its owner in Singapore. This car became famous as it was the most expensive car in Singapore at $3,750,000. Now if you know me, you know I have a deep love for car number 99. It is a 2013 Koenigsegg Agera S. You better know it as the HH. HH for Hannemeyer Hansen. The owner, David Hannemeyer Hansen, is a Danish programmer uh, who got this car to match his Zonda HH. He also does racing on the side, he, uh, he co-founded Basecamp, I believe, and Ruby on Rails as well, if you know those. Uh, so yeah, quite a success story there. Uh, this is the first US registered Agera, it actually wears Illinois license plates, but you may see it driving around LA. I've seen this car on two different occasions, this is the first Koenigsegg I've ever seen, and this is what really started my crazy love for Koenigsegg. I already loved the brand before. Uh, after seeing it in person, it was a pretty cool experience. I saw this car for the first time on uh, Halloween, October 31st, uh, 2014, uh, 2014, during the United States Grand Prix here in Austin, Texas. I never thought in a million years I would see a Koenigsegg Agera in Austin, Texas, my hometown. So I, I saw it at the Hilton Hotel, uh, and lo and behold, I, I was you know just sitting uh, next to it for about an hour. And lo and behold, Christian von Koenigsegg comes walking out. I love the car. It looks so different in person. It looks so much better, if you could believe it. And then Christian von Koenigsegg walks out, and I uh, briefly talked with him, got a picture. And it was obviously just the best day of my life. It was just way too cool. And that started my crazy love for the brand. And I remember I half-jokingly said to Christian uh, while we were standing by the car, I said, I look forward to putting in my order with you. And uh, he kind of smiled. But one other person from Koenigsegg, he didn't crack a smile at all. He just looked at me and he said, hey, if you really think so, then you can do it. 
And that was, not to be too cheesy here, but that was so motivating and it was just a turning point for me. And I promised myself then I will have a Koenigsegg eventually. Uh, far from it still, but you know, on track at least. So that really started my love for Koenigsegg. Uh, well, I already loved it, like I said. But anyway, car number 99, whenever I see pictures of the Agera HH, I just get goosebumps. And just talking about it, it's, uh, it's really exciting. But anyway, oh, and as you know, it is the profile picture uh, for Exotic Cars 19. Uh, that picture I took in Los Angeles when I saw it for the second time, around this time last year. Uh, I saw it for the premiere of Apex, the story of the hypercar. They brought out a couple of hypercars out there, and the Agera HH was one of them. So... Obviously, the Agera never gets old. So, um, yeah, really, really, really love chassis number 99. If you recognize car number 99, you will definitely recognize car number 100. This is the 2013 Agera S, dubbed the Hundra, Hundra Swedish 400, being the 100th uh, Koenigsegg. This is a beautiful, visible carbon fiber and gold uh, car. This is uh, one of my favorite specs, uh, but then again, no Koenigsegg looks bad. Uh, it was delivered to its owner in Hong Kong. Car number 101 is another Agera R. Uh, it's a dark green and visible carbon with pink, uh, pink accenting. It resides in Thailand. Kind of an interesting spec there. Car number 102 is a 2014 Agera R. It's clear carbon and silver. It was delivered to its owner in Saudi Arabia. And the good thing with this car is it is not a garage queen. From what I understand, it is used well. Uh, you may know, uh, recognize some, uh, this car from some videos on YouTube, I think it was like GT board. Uh, this car raced against a Bugatti uh, Veyron Vitesse, it raced against 918 Spiders, and all kinds of stuff. So this is not a garage queen, and uh, thankfully it's not, because that means we can see it more often, and it is a gorgeous looking car. Car number 103 is a 2014 Agera R. It is a gorgeous blue uh, carbon fiber with silver stripes and different accenting uh, this one's an interesting story. I believe a dealership in San Francisco had the car listed for sale not long ago for $2,290,000. After some time on the market, it was reduced to just $1,650,000. Uh, and I believe it still resides in the United States, judging from other YouTube videos I've seen. Uh, those including videos from the Stradman, Vehicle Virgin, Speed Racer 38, and many more. Uh, so I believe it resides somewhere in the U.S., making it the second Agera. If you guys have more information on that, let me know. But, uh, yeah, if, if, if someone can confirm that this Koenigsegg is in the U.S., I will be very happy because it is a gorgeous, gorgeous car. Uh, car number 104 is a 2014 Koenigsegg Agera S. It is black and carbon and right-hand drive. I don't really have much more information on number 104. 105 is a black and carbon Agera R delivered to its owner in Portugal. I'm sure you guys recognize number 106, which is the 2014 Koenigsegg 1 to 1. It is the silver, carbon, and orange prototype. It's currently owned by a uh, female pro race driver from Portugal, believed to be the same lady who owns chassis number 105 that I just mentioned. Car number 107 is another uh, 2014 1 to 1, clear carbon and gold. Um, this car is the first privately registered Koenigsegg 1 to 1 delivered in Germany. You guys may recognize this car, unfortunately, I do have to mention this. It did crash at the Nürburgring on July 18th, 2016, during one of the industry days. Um, yeah, after, uh, after experiencing the front axle brake lock up, it just, you know, locked up and hit a wall. Uh, it locked up at 105 miles an hour. But thankfully, nobody was hurt, and uh, the car is now in Engelholm for repairs. I'm really rooting for you, Koenigsegg. I hope you guys can shatter the uh, number rings record. When I heard that, again, piece of my heart went away. But uh, I hope that car gets repaired soon. It is a gorgeous one-to-one. -one. Car number 108 is another one-to-one. -one. It's a clear carbon with pink accenting. Uh, the Chinese customer is matching this car with his Pagani Zonda JC. I believe he even has other cars in that same configuration. Uh, quite an interesting one. Car number 109 is another one-to-one, -one, matte blue and carbon, uh, delivered to an exotic car dealership in Britain. Not sure where it resides. Now, if you guys know about it, let me know. Car number 110 is another one-to-one, -one, blue carbon fiber with normal clear carbon fiber. It looks gorgeous with that mix. Uh, it belongs to the BHP project and it resides in the UK. 
Uh, card number uh, 111 is another one-to-one, -one, dark blue with light blue accenting. 12 is the last one-to-one. -one. It is white, red, and carbon. It's the only U.S. one-to-one, -one, and it was just sold at Prestige Luxury Imports in Miami, Florida. Uh, hopefully, if you guys know more information on this, let me know, but hopefully it still resides in the U.S. So that's it for the Koenigsegg one-to-ones. As you've seen, uh, there is seven of them, one prototype, and then six production ones. Uh, but anyway, moving on, car number 14 is a 2015 Koenigsegg Regera. It's the light blue one uh, that was first shown in Geneva. And then car number 15 is a 2015 Koenigsegg Agera RS, carbon and orange, delivered to its owner in Saudi Arabia. Car number 116 is another Koenigsegg Agera RS. It's white and carbon, currently for sale at Elaine Class Motors in the United Arab Emirates. Car number 117 is the Regera crash test car to get this fully homologated for the United States. Car number 118 is a 2015 Agera RS ML edition. It's yellow, red, and visible carbon fiber, apparently owned by someone in Southeast Asia. Uh, not much more information on that. I believe the owner's on Instagram as well. I forgot what the handle was. Uh, car number 119 is another Agera RS, red with carbon fiber. And then this just broke the uh, other Singapore record. It is now the most expensive car at $5 million. Car number 120 is another Agera RS, blue, uh, carbon, and orange accenting. Not a whole lot of information on that one. Car number 121 is the 2015 Koenigsegg Agera Final, or the one of one uh, edition, one of three of the final editions. Uh, and it is apparently for sale in Germany. So if you want it, then there you go. Uh, quite a limited car and a gorgeous spec if I add. Apparently that color is so vibrant and like color changing different light situations. I've only seen pictures uh, and I'm in love. Car number 122 is an Agera RSR. If you don't know about the, uh, the RSR range, it is just for the Japanese market. Um, this one, number 122, is metallic turquoise. Um, and uh, yeah, not much else on that one other than it is going to Japan. And then, uh, not surprisingly, number 123 is another Agera RSR. This one's a particularly menacing looking spec. It is black with visible carbon and red accenting. I really like it. Again, going to Japan. Um, car number 124 is a, another Agera RS. Apparently white and carbon and red accenting. Not a whole lot of information on that one. Car number 125 is another Agera RS. Uh, and it's currently under construction. But from certain pictures that we're seeing, it should be carbon fiber with red accenting. Uh, again, not a whole lot of information on that one. Car number 126 is a 2016 Regera. It's the uh, red one that we saw recently at Geneva. Uh, car number 127 is another Agera RS, blue carbon and gold. Uh, car number 128, this is the last one on my list here. You guys may recognize it, especially for those of you on uh, all the social media outlets. Car number 128 is a 2016 Koenigsegg Agera dubbed the uh, XS, just another RS. Um, this car belongs to Instagrammer that you probably recognize, Lamborghini uh, KS. So yeah, the owner uh, of this one, I believe, is from Florida. He also has a Lamborghini Veneno, a Huayra, and a few other cool cars. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much all I have on my list up to car number 128. If any of my information was not accurate, or you have continuation to it, or anything I love knowing about Koenigsegg, so just let me know. And if by any chance you're a Koenigsegg owner watching this, uh, call me up and give me a ride. No, but anyway, I sincerely hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's kind of an interesting video. If you guys are kind of nosy and really like Koenigsegg like me, you probably found it interesting. But uh, anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys for watching, and have a great day.